Good evening. Four-year-old Austin Cooper died a painful death. He was sculled in a bathtub by his stepmother after being put in bed with his skin blistered and peeling. Today, his father learned his punishment for not getting the boy help. Local 12's Larry Davis was in the courtroom as the family and friends spoke up about Robert Ritchie. Larry. Hi, Brad. Robert Ritchie's attorney said that there was no punishment that could top what their client was already receiving. Now, he could have received up to 11 years behind bars, but with time served, he will now spend less than or a little over six years in prison. As Robert Ritchie entered the courtroom, he had hugs for his defense team and a note of thanks with caricatures of his attorneys that he drew while in jail. Ritchie was convicted for his role in the 2016 scalding death of his four-year-old son, Austin Cooper. While his wife, Anna Ritchie, admitted to holding the child down in scalding bathwater, prosecutors claimed that Ritchie did nothing to help his son, a point the child's maternal grandmother made to the judge prior to sentencing. When skin's falling off of a child, they need help. He deserved help, and he gave none. Defense attorney Frank Schiavone III says when it came to a sentence, he told the judge there was not a punishment greater than the one his client had already received. How much do we punish this man for his inaction? He didn't see the wounds. The baby wasn't screaming in pain. Robert Ritchie asked the judge for mercy, saying he had lost his best friend, his son. He said he wanted a chance to right a wrong. I want to do good in this world for my son. Something's good got has to come from all this tragedy. Something good has to come. Judge Robert Peeler concurred that Ritchie did not cause his son's injuries, but wondered why he did nothing to help his young son. The question that kept me awake at night is, why did you not check on this little boy, your son, Austin? He lay there for 14 hours while you sat in there and watched television. And Brad Ritchie's defense team took issue questioning the fairness in the prosecuting some child death cases pointing out that, uh, that some cases are prosecuted, others are not. Frank Schiavone IV pointed to the recent hot car death of a child uh, where no charges were filed while his client is now going to prison for his role in his son's death. A prosecutor, David Fornshell, told Local 12 News the difference was that one parent had knowledge, the other did not. And uh, the Schiavone's say they plan on appealing Richie's conviction. Live in Lebanon, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Brad, back to you. Larry, did I hear correctly that Mr. Ritchie wants to go into children's ministry after he gets out of prison today? Well, he said that during, he, he, in pleading for mercy, he said that he wanted to go into a, 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 a youth ministry, uh, hoping that uh, that would convince the judge uh, not to send him to, pr uh, to prison. He could have just gotten straight probation. But uh, those plans are obviously on hold right now, now that he faces uh, years in prison. But that was his plan. Larry Davis live for us. Thanks very much. Once Ritchie is released from prison, he will be on five years probation. Anna Ritchie is serving 18 years to life for causing the injuries that killed the child.